All right, we have a question that says that an eight post DC shunt generator. So the key word there is what? Shunt generator weight. Seven, seven, eight waves connected armature conductors. It ran at, so it ran at uh, 500 RPM, applied a load of 12.5 ohms at a 10 mile voltage of 250 volts. The armature resistance is 0 0.24 ohms and the fault resistance is 250 ohms. Then the question says find the armature current and find B, find the induced EMF, C, find the flux people. So for us to be able to solve this question, let's represent this given question in a circuit format. The key word there is what? Shunt generator. For shunt generator, it means the fault winding and the armature winding are what? Are connected in parallel. So I have my armature here. Armature is connected. Shunt generator. So I have my loads here. So this is my load. Then I have my fold winding here. So a certain EMF is generated here, so there will be a current flowing towards the load. And the current flowing towards the load is from the armature, so represented with what? IE. There will be a certain current flowing towards the load, so we call it load current, IL. Then they said IL, RL, that is the load resistor, is 12.5. 12.5 ohms. Then they said a fault winding resistance of 250. So I represent my fault winding with RF 250 ohms. Now the question when I had and told is that an armature resistance of 0 0.24. So RA equals to 0 0.24 ohms. Now, it said at the terminal of the load, the voltage measured across the load was 250 volts. Voltage was measured across the load. Now, at the load end, let's see how we can break or we can determine the amount of current flowing towards the load, which is the IL. IL is the load current. Then, BL equals to the load voltage which equals to question mark and this equals to 250 volts. Then they said at the load, the load had a resistance of load resistance RL equals to 12.5 ohms. By using Ohm's theory or Ohm's theory equation, we can say that by Ohm's, Ohm's equation, current equals to V over R. So by so doing, we can say that our load, 
The amount of current that will flow through the load will become IL equals to VL over RL. Since we have our VL to 250 and and our RL to be 12.5, so we have our current to be equals to 250 volts over 12.5 ohms. That gives us 20 amps. So the amount of current at our load gives us 20 amps. Now, the current coming here equals to 20 amps. Now we need to also determine the amount of current that is shared to the fault wire. So IF. What will be the amount of current flowing to the fault winding? The fault winding, since in parallel connection, in parallel connection, the voltage drop is the same. The voltage drop is the same. So therefore, VF is actually proportional to VL. So if VL is equal to 250 volts, then VF also equals to 250 volts. Then IF will be equal to VF over RF. Whereby I F equals to 250 divided by 250 ohms volts. Okay, the question. They said the fault winding. So this is our fault. 250. And it's in parallel with this. They are in parallel. So the voltage drop here is equal to the voltage drop here. So if you are measuring the voltage across this, you will get 2. 50 volts across the floor. So we get the amount of current flowing at the floor to be 1 amp. Now, with Ketchup's current law, Ketchup's current law says that current law says that amount of current flowing towards the junction amount of current flowing towards a junction towards any junction equal current flowing away from that very junction, which is, it means current flowing towards this node equals to that. So, from my diagram, IA is flowing towards the junction here. So, IA is flowing towards the junction, and IL is flowing away. So, IL here, then IF also flowing away. So, now, we know IF to be 1 amps. We also know IL to be 20 amps. So IA will be equals to IL plus IF. So which is that IA equals to 20 plus 1. That gives us 21 amps. So the current at the armature A. So A, current at armature, or armature current, armature current equals to 21. So A, the armature current for this very generator system will be 21. Now the question says we should find the induced EMF of the machine. So the induced EMF. 
B. Induced EMF B becomes induced EMF B equals to when you multiply, when you sum the voltage drop within the armature plus the voltage drop across the load, then you get what? The total induced EMF of the generator. What it's simply saying is that when you sum the voltage drop at the various components, then you get the induced EMF. So plus VL. Now, we know VL, EG equals to question mark. The VL equals to 50 volts. Then VA equals to question mark. Now, how, do we, how will we determine the amateur voltage drop? The voltage measured across here. So the voltage measured across here becomes VA equals to IA times RA. So the voltage induced in the armature, voltage induced in the armature equals to VA RAR, which equals to, we know our R A change to one, and we know the R A to be zero point two four. So R A equals to zero point two four ohms, and I A equals to twenty one. So V A equals to twenty one times zero point two four. That equals to five point zero four volts. Now. The formula says determine the induced EMF of the machine. So the induced EMF of the machine B equals to EG equals VA plus VL. Since there's no branch losses, then we have EG3 equals to 0 0.4, 0 0.04 plus 2. Five zero. That is two fifty volts. So we sum two fifty plus five point zero four. The induced EMF equals to two five five point zero four volts. That is the voltage induced by this generator. Now the question says we should determine C, the flux per pole. Flux per pole C. The flux pay pole, flux pay pole is determined to be EG equals to that is number of conductor multiplied by the speed by the flux divided by 60 multiplied by number of poles over the carrying path. Here Z equals to number of conductors, number of conductor or conductors, which is giving the question to be seven, seven, eight. So Z equals to seven, seven, eight. Then they say the speed and speed at which the motor is rotating. Or the generator is rotating equals to 500 RPM. Then we talk about the flux per pole. Flux per pole, question mark, into bracket, flux per pole. Then, number of poles. Number of poles. P equals to H per the question. They said it's what? A pole. Then current path, they said it's a wave wounding. And wave wounding means that it has two parallel paths. So A, wave wounding have a constant parallel path of 
constant carrying power to be what? 2 to be equal to 2 so here we are to make find a subject so we said E G equals to Z N F over 60 multiplied by P over A so we have E G by 60 by A to be equals to Z N 5 5 P so making find a subject so we divide both sides by Z and P divide here by Z and G this will go with this then 5 equals to EG times 60 times A all divided by Z and P so 5 equals to we know now the EMF induced EMF induced here to be 255.04 times 60 current power 2 then number of conductors 778 state of the generator rotor revolution is 500 RPA the number of poles the generator has is 8 poles Eight poles. So number of poles is eight poles. So you have eight. Then I multiply this flat tape close to zero point zero zero nine eight three Weber, which can also be living in milli as nine point eight. 3 milli weather.